Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you are clicking on this video for the first time, hello. My name is Sammy Veltri. On this channel, we do thrift flips, wood signs, and let me tell you, there's always tons of laughter. Today's video is gonna be a part of the IOD's new holiday release, you guys. Yes, there's gonna be a playlist. It is linked down in the description box. I can't wait for you to see what other creators have done with this new release. And I know you guys are ready, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. We are gonna start this first DIY off with a very Merry Christmas. Y'all, this transfer, this is a transfer booklet and it is so whimsical and vintage and there's not only fairies in here, there's wreaths, there's Christmas trees. It is stunning. And seriously, right when I saw this booklet of transfers, I remembered this picture frame that I thrifted and I knew it was going to be perfect with these transfers. So I am going to take out the glass piece. I'm trying to figure out which green I want to use with this. And I think gypsy green is going to be the best because we're also going to darken it up with some wax. So I'm going to take my frame and I am going to just take a chippy brush and we are going to stipple on one layer of the gypsy green. This dries down to be absolutely gorgeous. And you guys, this frame, let me tell you, when we put the wax on, you are going to see just how much this goes with the transfer. So after it dries down, I'm going to apply one coat of DIY clear wax. And then I'm going to go on top of that with DIYs dark wax. You can find all of my paint products on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. And then I am going to grab a paper towel and we are going to wipe back that dark wax because all I want it to do is sit in all of those beautiful details so they pop out at you. And if you guys cannot see all those beautiful vines, and I think they're grapes, but we'll say berries. Oh my goodness. And Hi, my name is Sammy. If you're new to my channel, I have an obsession with gold wax and I think everything Christmas related needs it on it. <laughs> so I am going to put the gold wax on all of the leaves and the little vines that are attached to them. I'm going to get the transfer. No, sorry. I'm going to grab my cardstock. This is just brown cardstock. I'm going to trace out the glass panel here, cut that out. And then you guys, what you've been waiting for this IOD transfer, you guys, they are so easy to use. You can literally stick them on any surface. I am just sticking this straight onto the cardstock. I did not prep the paper with anything. I'm gonna take the little scraper tool that it comes with, and I am going to start pushing down on my carrier sheet, and then I will start lifting that up as you will see. And this literally took no time at all. And the details in these transfers always blow my mind, okay? We're gonna pop that baby back in. I'm not gonna put the glass in just for camera purposes, but when it's listed on my website, the glass will come with it. And check this out. Oh my gosh, this makes me so, like the most perfect frame for this Fairy Mary transfer. And look at how absolutely gorgeous those details are. It is so absolutely whimsical. I love it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of that transfer. For this next one, we're going to go fall, y'all. Oh, yes, we are. Because they came out with this beautiful pumpkin mold. Okay, you guys wipe your mouth, stop drooling. Sorry about the stomping ahead. Those are my children. And let's put that front and center. Y'all went crazy over the pumpkin stamps last year. So it does not surprise me that they came out with this beautiful mold. I am going to use my amazing resin, which cures within five to 10 minutes. And I am going to start filling up some molds. I didn't know what I wanted to use, 
Um, and so I just, you know, I always just feel a little extra because I put it in a box next to my desk and I pull them out when I need them. But our main focus is the pumpkin. After I'm done, I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to take this old dingy box that I've literally had forever. And I am going to take the Salvation Solution Stain Blocker in clear, and I'm gonna put that around my entire box. I did not want the chance of any of uh, like any bleed through coming um, through my paint. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then I am going to grab, these are actually snowmen, you guys. When Christmas comes, you head to Hobby Lobby and you pick these packs of snowmen up when they are 50% off because they make the most gorgeous legs for any project. So do not forget this during Christmas time. So they were painted like a light blue. And I thought, you know what? That would be quirky and fun mixed with, you know, tan and orange for the fall season. I put dark and decrepit over them to darken them up and make them look a little aged. I wiped that dark and decrepit back. And you could use dark, as, dark and decrepit as a stain, as a glaze. There are so many ways to use it. So now I'm gonna grab my tight bond. I did put some other molds on the corners of my box just to give it a little bit more pizzazz and detail. And now I'm taking the tight bond quick and thick and I like to brush mine on the back of my molds but you could use your finger or whatever. Sorry, I'm totally not in shot. And then I'm gonna stick that on to the box and then to let it set up, I'm going to just put some tape on there and then I'm going to let it set to the side and dry completely down. It does dry very quickly, but I'm just, I'm just being, you know, safe here. I'm going to grab the JRV Cottage Color in the color Crockery. I think I might have one more of these in stock. And I am going to paint the inside, the outside, the bottom, the front with this. I do have to go in with two coats. And keep in mind, the JRV Cottage Colors have a built-in sealer. So after I'm done painting this and it dries, I don't have to wax it or clear it. And then accessorizing the box. So... It was between Pennies from Heaven and Golden Ticket. Now, Pennies from Heaven reminded me of pumpkin spice. So we're going with the spice. I am going to take a smaller paintbrush and I'm going to paint the tops of my mold. Um, I just am a little bit of a perfectionist, so I had to get, you know, on the sides and all that. But the tops of them would, would be good too. So I also am going to do the pumpkin. And I have to do two coats of this. After that dries, which it dries very fast, I am going to take the DIY dark wax and I'm going to stipple that on my entire box, but I do it in sections, one side at a time. And then I will take that paper towel and I'm gonna wipe it back and buff it off. This is going to create just more depth in our molds and it's going to look make my box look a little bit more decrepit and old and that is definitely the look that i am going for and you guys the details you could already see it in the pumpkin is are so pretty and you're going to hear me say details 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 all the time when using iod products but i mean it's true you know all right, now we're gonna attach our little snowmen. And to be honest, you guys, I used the um, tight bonds, but this fell off my table and the legs popped right off. So I ended up going in with Gorilla Glue after this. Um, my nail gun would not fit inside the box, unfortunately, so I could not nail these to our box but um, hopefully the Gorilla Glue holds up. So I'm just gonna put those on the four corners. I am going to add some Spanish moss and some pumpkins in there and look at how beautiful this turned out. The mold, gorgeous. And then that pennies from heaven. If you are doing a lot of fall decor, you need that in your stash because it is going to make for some beautiful details on your fall DIYs. Goodness, look at that. Look at how gorgeous she is. Hey everyone, just checking in to see how you are enjoying this video. I was so inspired by this release. It is so fun, so whimsical. It's vintage and then that 
you guys, the mold. That pumpkin mold is going to be everything for fall. We were dying over the stamp last You guys wipe the drool. I know it is difficult. It is so good. But that stamp last year and then now the mold, it's going to be amazing. Okay. Go over to the um, IOD Sisters YouTube page. I'm going to put that in the description box because they actually go over every single new release item because there were more that I did not show you. So head over there and you all know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you are digging this channel, then please make sure to like subscribe and comment. Commenting's an absolutely free way you can help my channel grow. All of my links are down in the description box and let's get back into the rest of these IOD DIYs. Let's play with some stamps. Do you guys see these puppies? How cute this is? They actually have puppies and kitties, you guys. I did not get the kitty ones, but they are just as cute. Head over to the IOD Sisters YouTube channel and you will definitely get a walkthrough of each individual piece they came out with in way more detail here. But I'm just kind of showing you the other stamps. This one has a lot of, I want to say like filigree. And then this one is gorgeous. I thought I was going to use the bricks, but I decided against it. And you could see how many pieces come in. This one's a two sheet one. And the previous one I showed you is a two sheet stamp set. So Keep that in mind. I am going to take one of these wood blanks from Dollar Tree and I am going to paint the entire thing with layered chocolate. Then I am taking my Crackle Medium by Folk Art. This is in my Amazon store link. And with single strokes, I am going to apply that to the front and sides of our plaque. I'm gonna dry that down with a heat gun because I like more Crackle. I'm going to come in with white swan, maybe. And again, with a single brush stroke, I'm going to put that on there and the crackle starts coming right away. I love me some crackle. How about you? All right. I'm going to take one of the doggy stamps and make sure if you're using new stamps that you prep them by just getting a sanding block and kind of scuffing them up. I'm going to start with black ink. The detail after I pulled this up was insane. So cute. So, okay, I put the dog on there with the black ink. And then I had red ink. I haven't used it for a while. So I put more of the red ink on the pad. And I'm going to use these other pieces from one of the other new stamp booklets. And the red came out like orangish red. Like I just didn't think that it looked like upside scale and I don't know if it was because like my ink pad or what it was but I just was not digging the color but it was already done so what I did was I stamped or put black ink on that stamp and then went back over it and since I did it to the right side I felt like there was another stamp I wanted to put on the left so I needed to mimic that so again I put the red stamp on there and I do have one of the masks. You could see I just pulled it away. I'm putting it back. And then again, I'm gonna take the black ink and put it on top. So it has like a little pop of color, which is nice. And now for the bottom, I'm going to measure where my center is. I'm gonna measure where the center is on the back as well. And then I'm just going to take one of these little hooks that I saved from a Dollar Tree picture frame screw that on in then i'm going to take my drill gun and drill a hole in the bottom and i'm going to take this vintage um, knob that my dad saved from a uh, i think it was a desk and we are going to put that on now you guys we need that gold wax to bring out the details in that knob and i thought how darling would this be i know i have some dog lovers out there if you are somebody that decorates your whole entire home for the Christmas season, this will be so cute for your dog's leash, our little sweater. Like I, I can envision it. It would be so stinking adorable. So I hope this inspires you. I, I, I need to make more of these and put them in my booth. That's what I need to do. This last one. So it is very similar to the Fairy Merry Christmas, but this has like woodland creatures, I will say. And it's, it's, it's Gorga. 
okay? This one's gonna be very simple. I am taking this book. I loved the cover of it. It is not like, it's not old and vintage, so I felt fine doing it. But the cover was beautiful. And I saw this owl and I was like, this is going to look gorgeous against the cover of this book. So I did not have to prep it or prime the actual book cover with anything. And I am just going to, again, start pushing that transfer down and lifting the carrier sheet up. And anytime you use a transfer, you want to make sure that, um, <laughs> I wanna say buff it out, but that's not the word. You guys are picking up what I'm putting down out there, okay? And now I'm gonna take this gold uh, acrylic paint, mix it with some salt wash, and then I am going to use this stencil. I thought it needed, I'm extra, you guys, extra like the cost of guacamole. And I am going to put that over the stencil just to have a little bit of raised something, adding just a little bit more detail to the cover of our book. And because I can never just stop where I'm at, we need to add more accessories here. So after that completely dries, I am going to take some of this twine, it has a little bit of like glitter in it, and I am going to wrap it around my book three times. I'm gonna tie that off to the side in just like a regular bow. I think I ended up getting rid of the bow later. I don't know, let's find out as we do this together. I'm gonna tie that off and then I'm going to take this little berry, uh, wired berry, it's from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut some of that off, or no I don't. I'm gonna, <laughs> hi you guys, I swear I made this video myself. Those are my hands doing this, like I, yeah. And I put it around there, I um, tightened it up, and then I am just going to wrap that around something, a pen, and just make it nice and curly and cute. And that is how simple it is to use a transfer to change your home decor. Again, I didn't have to do much to the book. That background went so well with the owl. And you guys, I hope you were inspired. Make sure to check out the playlist down in the description box if you would like to see what other creators have done with the new IOD holiday release. And also head to the sisters channel as well. I appreciate y'all. Look at me, guys. I did my hair. When's the last time you saw this? Huh? When's the last time you saw this? I did it. <laughs> Go. Ooh, that was winded. It was good. We're good. Thank you, guys. You guys are going to literally drool. Seriously. They are awesome. I can't wait to do more and more. I'm envisioning like a lot of like Christmas tags, Christmas ornaments. Oh, there's so many. Okay, you guys, bye.